what a pivot right from the home minister to the fashion sort of legend as we know now rahul long way to go <laughs> long way to go all right so ladies and gentlemen we have rahul mishra with us at the rising bharat summit not because he is the first ever indian designer to showcase at the paris couture week not because he is the first indian designer to have won the very prestigious woolmark prize in 2014 at the milan fashion week and dare i say not because his willing connection was sold across the globe in stores all over he is here with us today because he does something very unique to luxury fashion he makes it mindful so rahul mishra take us through what and educate us mostly on what exactly is mindful luxury so thank you thank you news team thank you for for amazing introduction and uh, definitely uh, i think uh, last conversation with honorable home minister had been uh, you know very inspiring and at the same time a lot of things which i have been realizing also became enablers whatever he was quoting in doing what we do right now so as a as a fashion designer or as a designer my first thing is i have to design something do something so what we do is we try to concentrate on a process which is slow when process becomes slow it becomes participatory and the people can participate that creates employment that is something which becomes far more powerful as an idea because i always say any product whether we talk about garment or we look at uh, clothing or or anything i think there are always two ways or three ways to designing it or manufacturing it one is always go to the most sustainable and most beautiful way so i think slowness what we bring about creating anything creates employment brings you know our people back to the villages and it allows them to stay there yeah. and that is the most most amazing thing that is so you know when you see the celebrities global celebrities across the world descend in india it could be for a pre wedding celebration in jamnagar or it could be for nmacc when they come here you see them in really fabulous rahul mishra clothing you see those pictures uh, you know as we have this conversation over here from mark zuckerberg to selena gomez to zendaya we've seen all of them wear rahul mishra clothes but rahul the interesting part and the connection of how do we go from that glam that glitz that really wow quotient from the ramp and how do we translate that into roof over somebody's head a karigar a house and education for their kids how does that spectrum happen put that into context rahul for those of you who don't know by the way uh, takes it all back to his roots in up to our hometown kanpur by the way so that's where it's all going and those clothes that you see on international celebrities are being made there in up uh up along with west bengal and everywhere so first thing what we did is as a because ultimately we have to we have to get into product manufacturing so what we did is we decentralized the processes and very first time when i started work in hand embroidery i came to this dharavi and jija mata all those areas in mumbai and we realized these working conditions or the way people are working are not really really good i am talking 2012 2013 how we can make sure that places are much better people can have much better lives nobody should be living in those areas also yeah. working is is a complete separate thing altogether yeah, we have some pictures of before and after from there now i think i think one of the most unfortunate thing which which happened i'm not going to get into politics of it but i really feel is about like villages somehow in terms of employment in terms of work probably could not catch up to the cities so a lot of population of villages started migrating to the city even the drivers who we have at a home 
first thing which brings them dignity is if they can make a pakka house in their village to show to the society that they are doing well in life and for this they have to slog and live in a slum area live in a area no clean water to drink they can't even take shower every day and all that kind of thing and no nutritional food also at the same time so what we started in 2012 and now because of you know uh, this i should say jandhan yojana and because of what is happening in the villages like i recently 10 days back i went to my village also a surprise to see actually all nuls over there and they all are working which is amazing so now villagers they want to live over there for us 10 years we have been doing that all these guys they work from the villages and they all produce the pieces which probably Mark Zuckerberg is wearing, which probably... So you're saying yeah. you're not bringing the Karigar from UP, from West Bengal to Delhi and Mumbai. You're taking work to them. This is, this is sort of work from home, is it? <laughs> so actually, it's, it's a bit like hybrid model because we have got a 300 people who work with us at the Studio Noida. Yeah. And Together, all of us are able to create employment for another 1,200 people, full-time employment. Wow. All across India. Yeah. So, and my dream is to be able to have, to create, uh, I think, jobs for a million people through our fashion initiatives because we create clothes which are extremely slow. Like, for example, uh, the Zendaya Sari or Mark Zuckerberg shirt which you see over there or what his family was wearing. These clothes are good enough to get employment for 15 people for 15 days. Hold on. 15 people for 15 days worked on that one shirt. That uh, not, Mark, no, not shirt. I'm talking about like both the couple. Both the couple on what Mark and his wife were yeah, wearing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So I think the, the, the process of slowness becomes far more engaging, far more beautiful. And that is something which has been one of the highlight of our of our career yeah. and also the reason because I always say like how we can think about so I, I often talk about this that instead of seeing primary objective of fashion as consumption alone we try to create a system that creates participation participation from people participation from people because as a designer it's very easy for me to think about a design digitally printed it's going to be half an hour job when you machine embroider it's going to create 50 hours a job but when you do hand embroidery on the same piece, it takes 5,000 human hours of work. So that is where fashion or, or a product become far more powerful. And I'm also sharing something, like one of the, one of the key person, uh, his name is uh, Avza Zariwala. He started working with me in 2012. He's again, Karigar. Yeah, Karigar. Again, he was working, uh, you know, in West Bengal, leaving his village in Bonpur, like, sorry, in Mumbai comes from West Bengal. 1984, he migrated in search of work, started doing embroidery, was living in slum areas in Mumbai. And he had a beautiful house over there. Maybe some of the pictures are there. And what I've realized, when we started creating work over there, so they all migrated, all his people migrated back with him. And today, his daughter is studying in London. So wow. uh, a guy who has probably not there, gone yeah. beyond, beyond uh, you know, beyond. Uh, so this is a setup which he started in village. So every bicycles around, they all come around over there. They all have been part of Mumbai initially. And, wow. and what is really powerful here is that, uh, you know, the kind of dreams which every day. This is his house, which was locked for almost 15, 20 years. He built it for his parents could never live over there because who's going to get job over there. So this kind of engagement becomes very, very powerful uh, for fashion. Indeed. To imagine uh, that somebody who had to migrate in search of work, stay in the slums and their kids now in London is indeed, indeed incredible. So congratulations, Rahul, for having done that. I want to sort of understand, you know, this is India's moment in so many ways than one. It could be our financial market, it could be so many other things, it could be music, it could be art, and so is fashion. So many Indian designers we know are showcasing abroad, are being talked about, and we see more and more celebrities, global celebrities, don the Indian sari with a lot of pride. Yours, of course, has made waves as well. 
but particularly in France. Is it true? Can I just go straight to that? Is it true that the French President uh, Macron asked you to shift to the French countryside that this is too much talent for India? We need him there in France. Is that true? Yeah, this is, uh, I think, 2000. This is obviously six months back I met him. 2018 was the first time he invited like all of us for like some French designers. Some of the designers were from Japan and they all are like hand-picked elite designers over there showcased in Paris. So he, he said this in an in a, in a address like that all of you need to shift, uh, make, your, make France your home. And then personally also when I met him like four or five times he had been kept telling me when you're starting a, a business or atelier or something in Paris. So maybe it's also a good idea altogether when you look at France. Uh, obviously, my base is going to be in India always. Yeah. But yes, we are looking at like doing something in France as well right now. Not bad at all. So as we come to the close of this session, let me quickly get some spicy comments out of you, uh, Rahul. So you have designed for, you have dressed up so many celebrities, India and abroad. Tell me the one who's been the toughest to sort of please, or which has been the most difficult brief to follow through? I think uh, some of the most difficult briefs are now, <laughs> which I got yesterday for some, some big movement. Oh, Obviously, God. can't share that. <laughs> uh, so it's very open-ended, very, uh, very beautiful idea. And some of the easiest has been even uh, for the Mark Zuckerberg's family. Yeah. So when they got in touch with us, uh, there's hardly any time. We have to fly one girl with two suitcases full. We did not tell her who she's going to meet. And we were wondering what if she like did return back and join Facebook. So, but it was, it was quite, quite a breeze like when, I, when we were doing their clothes. You know, idea behind this sometimes whenever like I do a lot of Western wear, but whenever these known people, when they get in touch with us, like President Macron, when we give, give her something to it, we give him a kurta. Uh, you know, my dream is like uh, the way, you know, I'm wearing jacket right now, we all are wearing Western clothes. Yeah. They all came to India probably 100, 200 years back, and that's how we all are dressing up right now. Sari is such a beautiful piece. Maybe something Sari inspired should become a staple for every nationality person, every person on the planet to wear. And they should have something. Similarly, a kurta, which is so comfortable, should be staple in every person's wardrobe on the planet. And this is one small little mission which I have to, uh, to achieve. So that's why there was no brief. When Zendaya wanted to wear, like she's the one of the most stylish, you know, most, I would say most talked about global icon. Global yeah. icon. When, they, when she was coming, the like first time we did one jacket for her, second time I said, like, you have to wear a sari. Yeah. There's nothing else. But give me a name, yeah, now, Rahul. Come on, give us a name. Who's, okay, get, tell us the most fondest memory. So recently, I, I must say, when, when Rihanna was coming to India, uh, sometimes unachievable targets are given. Like, so I could not do that because we decided to do something. But then within two days, there was a fittings in Milan. Impossible for hand embroidery. Most of the times, because we only work with hand, most of the times it's the only problem is that we cannot turn around things really fast when we work with slow idea. All right, with that, we're going to wrap up this session. But Rahul Mishra, you've made Mark Zuckerberg, who wears only greys and black, wear the Bengal tiger with pride. You've made, Della, you've made Selena Gomez, who wear the most chicest clothes, get a bit of India in them. So congratulations on that. And congratulations on everything you're doing. And please do not move to the French countryside. We need you here, don't we, guys? No, I'm very much here. And thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, everyone, for... For hearing. Thank you. Thank you. Rahul Mishra, everyone. Thank you so much, Rahul. Thank you for coming and thank you for speaking to News 18. Uh, that was Rahul Mishra, luxury fashion designer. He's, of course, creating 